Hi, I'm the Smoking Elk, and today we're making burgers. See that? That's good, wasn't it? That was uh, thanks to James from Barbecue or Barbecue.com for that. Um, James is a great guy. If you don't know, he has a website uh, with lots of tips, techniques, recipes. Um, you can find it at Barbecue.com. Uh, he also has a fantastic YouTube channel that I've taken a lot of inspiration from, um, and he's he's been on hand to offer a lot of advice um, for me to start my uh, YouTube journey as it were um, and when I mentioned and showed him my first video uh, last week he took some time out of his day to make that for me which is very kind of him and um, yeah thanks, thanks very much James look him up barbecue.com or look at search for barbecue on uh, YouTube um, <coughs> so that leads me on to the, the, the barbecue community in general um, such a helpful such a lively and vibrant uh, community uh, everyone's always willing to share techniques willing to share recipes um, you know you ask anybody how, how, how long do I cook this or how, how would I cook this cut of meat uh, there's already there's always somebody on hand to offer advice um, and as well as advice there's obviously numerous ways of cooking dishes uh, and one of these dishes and one that always has plenty of debate is what we're going to be cooking today and that's burgers and in particular um, smash burgers which are my burger of choice so <clears throat> with smash burgers um, you often hear it's not flame grilled um, what, what, while you're cooking it outside it, it, it's not cooked on the barbecue it's not flame grilled you may as well cook it in a frying pan now um, I like a flame grilled burger as much as the next guy um, but I'm willing to bet that these people that are saying that smash burgers aren't any good or um, <coughs> you know they're, they're discounting it straight away haven't tried one or they haven't tried one properly so I'm going to show you um, how I make mine and then we're going to tuck in so um, burgers <coughs> everyone's got a favourite burger recipe this one's obviously mine um, with burgers keep it simple so with a patty you know you often see recipes that add breadcrumbs um, I, I mean I don't know why you want to add breadcrumbs to a burger just to kind of fill it out I, I, I don't get it um, eggs another one stick some egg in there to bind it well no if you want if you want an egg on your burger fry it and stick it on top you don't need egg to bur to bind a burger um, you don't need onions in there unless you want raw onions uh, in your cooked burger because they're not going to cook properly they're not going to caramelize if you want onions in your burger caramelize your onions my advice is keep your patty nice and simple. All you need is some good quality minced beef. 20% fat is what you're looking for, is the magic number. So good quality minced beef, and then you're gonna season it with a bit of salt, a bit of pepper, and that is it. Um, we want them about a quarter pound each. Uh, I like to put two in my burger because I'm a fat bastard. Um, I, what I will say is use the best quality mints that you can uh, that you can get. Um, I like to use chuck and brisket normally ground up. Um, but just to show you now, we've got some cheap supermarket mints with 20% fat. And all we're going to do, I mean there's about half a pound here, so we're going to half that. And the trick is, you don't want to work the mints too much. If you work the mints too much, you start getting a meatball kind of texture, a tougher texture. Um, and what you want is a nice crumbly uh, bit of meat coming out from your burger. So form it into a ball. Don't work it hard, just like that. And that there is your patty. Um, nothing else in it. It's probably a bit too big, that one. Nothing else in it. Um, you know, no, no, no fancy ingredients in there. Plain and simple. Beef, 20% fat. That's it, that's your patties. So now we're ready to smash. <coughs> so we've got a screaming hot griddle. You've got your patties that you made earlier. And all you do, one there, and one there. Now, this is quite important. This is just a plasterer's trowel. Now we've got foil over it. But um, what you want to do is you just want to oil, oil the surface um, of that. Because what you don't want to happen is you don't want to press down on your burger, and then as you pull it back up, your burger's stuck to it. Because what will happen is all that initial heat that you've got from smashing the burger down onto the griddle, when the burger comes back up, you've suddenly lost all that intense heat. Uh, you're not gonna get your caramelization. When it goes back down, yeah, you might get a little bit, but it's not gonna be optimum. And you know, spoil yourself, you need it optimum. So all we're gonna do, is just smash, like that. Smash. And as you can see, <clears throat> nice and flat, good contact, and we're just going to leave them there for a couple of minutes. And all we do is 
season each one season it with the salt um, we don't put the pepper on yet because uh, when you flip it um, it's quite an intense heat and the pepper will burn and become bitter so once we flip it we're to put a touch more salt on there um, and some pepper and then we put the cheese on but for now they're nice got a good contact there they're going to get a nice caramelization nice crust I'm looking forward to this so we've just flipped them um, and as you can see beautiful crust beautiful caramelization so again just a touch of salt on this side because we've already done the other side and now you want to put your pepper on it's a nice cracked black pepper like so and then cheese slice goes on like that then all we're going to do is toast the buns because the toasted bun uh, in my opinion works better in a burger toast the buns load the patties on bit of ketchup and that is my perfect base for a burger it's a perfect burger as it is but if you want to put toppings on just go nuts and that really is it <coughs> so simple that is my ultimate simple cheeseburger mint salt and pepper i mean you really can't go wrong um and this is the best part of the video i mean you, you can see there the crust on the burger that's what you're going for so the best bit about making these videos is this part <laughs> honestly that is naughty i mean that's just a cheap bit of supermarket mints with 20 percent fat um, and then just simple salt pepper but make sure you get that crust mm. um, I don't know if you can see there but it's still so juicy inside I mean, one, one of the arguments I had against smash burgers was you're smashing all the juice out you're not <coughs> it's raw when you're smashing it down it's raw mince, it's raw meat. There isn't any fat that's just been cooked that you're, you're, you're wasting away and squeezing out. It's raw. <clears throat> if, you was, if you're squashing down your burgers while they're cooking, or when they're nearly cooked and you're squashing the fat out, then yeah, you're losing flavour. But all you're doing is squashing down some raw mince <clears throat> to get some flavour. And boy, what a flavour. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I do plan on building the channel um, over the coming months. I can't do that without your support. Um, next few videos I've got planned. Um, uh, again, <coughs> simple dishes that are quick and easy on the barbecue. Simple ingredients um, that absolutely taste fantastic. So keep your eye out on those. If you want to hit subscribe, that'd be really useful. Um, so you can see when my next videos are out. Like I said, I can't build the channel without your support. I'd like to carry on doing these videos. I'd like to do recipes. I'd like to do techniques, tips, talk through some equipment that I've got. Uh, and I'm open to suggestions. I mean, if, if there's anything you want me to do videos on, let me know leave a comment I always try to reply to all comments and messages so yeah thanks for watching I hope I've not bored you too much um, I know it was just a simple burger it's my favorite burger like I said there is no right or wrong way to do a burger if you like your way you know if you're happy then that's, that's your way you you can crack on this is mine it's absolutely beautiful I advise you to give it a go thanks <laughs>